So everyone's been hating on this set, and honestly, I have no idea why. Yes, it's a reprint set, but it has some pretty amazing cards in it, and I'm excited to open it up in today's video. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and today I'm excited because we're actually going to be opening up Battles of Legends Chapter 1. It's the brand new set that Konami just released, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's getting a lot of hate, but I actually kind of like this set. I think this set is really good for newer players, where you can get a lot of really powerful reprints, stuff like Photon Lord, stuff like the Chaos Emperor Dragon, you got the Ubel reprints, which is really nice because Ubel just got a lot of really good support, right? So there's so many really good cards in this set, and I'm actually kind of excited to open it up so with that being said let's get right into today's opening all right so we got two of these mini boxes to be opening up in today's video and i'm actually kind of excited i don't know why we're getting so much hate on this set because i think this set actually has some pretty cool reprints and i'm gonna be honest i kind of like these kind of chapter sets because you have the dice over here that you guys can pull the promos in here are absolutely insane as well you got the stratos i think the big guy there's so many really good ones and the astral utopia as well i think is an ultra rare in here so i kind of like it i don't know maybe it's just me but i actually do kind of enjoy these uh reprint sets over here now of course if you're some Someone who's you know been playing the game for a while and you have a lot of these cards then you might be thinking to yourself well i don't really need a reprint set and yes that may be true i won't lie however for a newer player just getting into the game or just someone to try to experiment with new archetypes i think this set could actually be kind of fun so with that being said let's open it right up here there's so much cardboard in this thing for absolutely nothing okay by the way the promos i want the stratos and i want the ab zero those are the two that i want the most so I think I have the promo in my hand right here. The first one is a Gamma Seal. You know what? That is a pretty good secret rare. I'm not going to lie. Secret rare Gamma Seal, that's not a bad promo either. I didn't even know that was a promo in here. All right, so we got our packs over here, and I think we get a dice. And we got the Cyber Dragon die. Okay, I'm excited about that one. So the reason I like the Cyber Dragon stuff, you guys don't know me. I'm a big GX guy. The Cyber Dragon die, I think there's a Stratos die in here as well. Yeah, those are the two die that I want the most. We got the Cyber Dragon one. All right, that's pretty cool. So we got three packs over. Oh, no, it's only two packs. Oh, I thought it was three. Okay, so we got two packs. They are pretty thick, though. 18 cards per pack. All right, let's get into our first pack here. I have seen an opening for this set, and it looks like there are three Ultra Rares per, per pack. I think that's how it works. But, uh, well, I mean, I guess we're going to find out firsthand, right? Kite Drake over here. Glorious Numbers. Sonic Stun. We got a Vision Hero Multiply Guy. A Partition. Number 77, Deadly Sins. So, or Seven Sins, I should say. This is our first Ultra Rare. This this is a card that definitely needed a reprint as well of course it's a very niche card but it's a pretty cool card i would say we got a rudder strix i feel like rudder strix is pretty new no am i wrong i don't know afterburner super no not a super rare it's also an ultra rare but it has like that rare lettering so it's silver ultra i guess that's what you guys want to call it but uh afterburner is a good one for all our Stry sky striker players and we got an exiton knight which is also i think a silver is that right like am i seeing this right is it's it's a silver like the rare print right i think it's like a rare print but it's like a super rare yeah okay i mean that's pretty cool afterburner though i would say is, is actually a pretty good reprint it's a card that uh actually it's still worth some money hero lives as a common is pretty good double helix as a common is pretty good as well there's some pretty good commons in here white moray all right so yeah so three ultra rares it looks like but two silver and one actual regular ultra rare or this is not the secret rare print yeah it's not the secret rare print i don't know i'm just tripping right now guys let's get into our second pack over here hopefully i honestly don't know what i'm looking for maybe the armageddon maybe the photon lord i think those are the two that i'm personally looking for just because i i don't have them personally but other than that, like, you know, anything here would be cool. Fusion Destiny as a common is pretty cool. Lumina over here. Black Whirlwind. We got an Exoton Knight. Okay, we're doubling up already, but this is the Ultra Rare. Okay. Okay, let's not see any more double ups, though. We don't want no more double ups. We want new cards. Powered Crawler. Dolgoran as a super, super rare rare. Super rare rare. Uh, that's what i'm gonna call it and then boral guard dragon as a super rare rare okay well you know what dogran kaiju you can never be mad with kaijus i think kaijus are always going to be relevant in some way shape or form silent boots all the lights worn stuff in here oh and the phantom knight stuff in here it's actually not bad you know what i'm gonna be honest this is pretty good comments again if you're a newer player and you're just trying to get back into the scene getting a deck core or almost a deck core worth of commons you know it's it's really hard to complain with that right so let's see if we can open up our next box here and honestly that wasn't a bad first box but let's see if we can pull a little bit better again that photon lord is what i'm personally aiming for out of four packs to be honest i thought it was three packs per box so maybe i'm just tripping does it say anywhere here yeah i don't know anyways let's get right into it though so yeah photon lord is what i want let's see if we can pull it i don't know how much it is currently guys we literally pulled another gamma seal 
out of our promos. Okay, what is what is this? This is Almirage. Shout out Almirage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Back to back Gamma Seal though is kind of crazy, guys. I man, I really wanted the Stratos. All right, well, you know what? To be honest with you, these mini boxes actually aren't too expensive. And uh, are you getting your value back? Eh, I don't know. There's a pretty good some. There's some pretty good cards in here. I won't lie. And in terms of like if you're picking up cards for yourself, it's actually not bad. But uh, we'll see. Miracle contact. We got a minimum ray. Oh, I think we got a quick launch. As uh, yeah, it was a quick launch. All right, so. I, uh, I messed that up, but a quick launch as our ultra rare. Oh my god, can I just open this pack properly? Powered Crawler. Vion is a good common. Did we just pull an ultra rare quick launch and then a rare quick launch? Okay, and the U-Bell. You know what? I'm gonna... I like that one. I like the U-Bell. As a GX guy, I like the U-Bell. But what are these double ups, bro? Exiton, Exiton. Quick launch, quick launch. Like, can we... I really just want to pull something different, you know? Dustopia over here. Gaia is an insane reprint. I'm going to be honest with you. Gaia is an insane reprint for Edison format. So that, that's a really good one. That's a good comment. Fogblade uh, and Silent Boots as well. So yeah, the PK stuff is also pretty good. All right, so we're moving into our last pack over here. What can we pull? Can we not double up on anything? Can we get a Photon Lord? Can we get an Armageddon? Technically, we can get both, right? Because they can come in Silver and Ultra, I think. And then uh, any more Edison stuff like the Gaia... That would be pretty good. I don't think Absolute Zero and stuff come in here as... Oh, you know what does though? Stratos. I think Stratos does come in here as a... As a... Ooh, fo oh, oh, yes, yes, Photon Lord. Let's go. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. That's exactly what we were looking for. You know what? I'm actually very happy with this pull. Okay, so Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. If you guys didn't know, before this reprint, this card, I think was like a 50 or $60 card, maybe even more. It's absolutely insane. It's just a negate, to be honest with you. The card itself is not like actually that crazy, but it's one of the only rank eight negates. So that's why it's really prominent. And that's why it was so expensive for so long, because it didn't have a reprint. But you know what? I am very happy with this ultra rare pull gonna be excited to be adding this to a lot of my decks as well you guys are gonna see all the deck profiles here on the channel and this is a really good card to add to that right so photon lord absolutely insane let's see what we can pull vanity fiend as a common you bell terror incarnate you know what very happy with that one too if you guys don't know the new you bell support you do play you bell and you do play terror incarnate so you know what we just pulled both cards that we need for the you bell deck and i'm very happy with that one and i'm gonna be honest with you the more i'm looking at it i'll be real i'm gonna be real here i really like this like rare print with the super rare i don't know what it is i actually kind of like this it looks kind of clean i won't lie maybe maybe it's just me let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below but terror incarnate and a judgment dragon it kind of has okay correct me if i'm wrong does it kind of have that cr look to it it looks like kind of like a collected rare obviously not a collected rare but how does that kind of look to it judgment dragon though is a pretty good card here all right you know what i still want to go through the comments because you have stuff like solar recharge maybe potentially another gaia in here would be nice ancient cloak is really good double helix and utopia the lightning very weird card to see in the common but you know what it's pretty good okay okay you know what i will say just looking at the comments looking back here there's a lot of the vision hero stuff there's a lot of the pk stuff so that's going to be really cool if you're trying to play a lot of those new decks i mean for the you know you know i i wish this was a straddle or an ab zero but that's just personally me gamma seal you can't complain too much about secret rares of a staple a side deck card is actually not bad and of course you guys see that what we pulled here but the main highlight of the day was this galaxy eyes photon lord and honestly i'm gonna give it to you bell i really like this you bell as well and 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 the terror incarnate wherever she is all right you know what pretty good i am pretty excited with today's pulls I, i'm pretty happy with this i'll be real but thank you guys all for watching i do want to say i appreciate every single one of you who have supported me throughout this journey the fact that i can do these openings for you guys are only because you guys have been supporting me and you guys have been subscribing to the channel liking the videos and actually giving me the opportunity to do this so thank you guys all i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we upload seven days a week here to the channel we do five shorts every single week and then you guys are gonna get two videos just like this one whether it be a product opening deck profile combo video all that good stuff you guys are gonna catch it right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe for more i appreciate every single one of you i know i've said that multiple times already but i really do love every single one of you thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace